next now we will see the deployment how the deployment works and here in we'll create a project here the default and ASP.NET Core web application we select word the uh, web application MVC but here in note that I'm changing the authentication that is <coughs> to individual user account so user basically what it means is it will create the DB context and everything and connection string and I'll change that to connect with SQL server click on OK So it has created everything for me. We go to the app settings.json. Here in we see that it has created a default connection wherein it is connecting to the local DB. But what I want is if I want it to connect with the default DB. So I already know the username and password and everything. I'll just copy paste it. And save it. Now let's see if it runs. Let me say control F5. So it is in this tool completed and it's running it now. running on localhost double four three seven four It's running for the first time, so that's why it's taking longer. So do we have it? Click on register. This is just to ensure that the connection is working or not. It is saying that apply migrations. That is identity schema does not exist wherein it is it needs to store the username and password. So we click on apply migration. There are two ways. First one is you go to the uh, the console over there and add the identity and then run the command update database other is basically just click on apply migrations <clears throat> so the migrations have been applied so let me say f5 click on continue and i can see the user is logged in now now let's deploy this application click on ok right click and select So when we say publish, the first one is Microsoft Azure App Service, wherein you create a profile, you specify um, the location or your uh, your account name, everything out here, and here in saying the identification.
network so okay basically my account is there my subscription is there i can select the resource group plan etc and what are the services i want i want to have the sql server etc as of now we are not going to store uh, deploy on the azure we'll see that later on and the second is you want to deploy on ias directly third is you deploy it to the folder and then you have you want you can import any profile as well that is you have profile created earlier similar to ias now because what will happen is here in it will create a profile which you can store as well and do we have anything else as well microsoft azure virtual machines as well that is uh, you select which on which virtual machine it is to be deployed and you can browse on the uh, that is virtual machines it will go to there and select okay these are the machines which are available it's srv1 or this one i don't want anything as of now so let me select i want to deploy on ias directly i click on create profile i want to have a web deploy method ftp or to the file system i want a web deploy one only and i have http colon local host site name is prt report and my destination is i want to access it like i have already created a default website let me rename it not default i have created default one okay and here in i i have already created a app pool which is asp net app pool where in i have selected no managed code other option is you can right click and say add application pool let's say my no Here in I create a new website. Yeah, default. And on the physical part, C colon. I network. www root. I create a new folder. Yeah. And I'm running on ATP port. Huh? Ah, yeah, application pool. By default, otherwise, it create a new application pool, which I need to, which I'll have to change it later on, or I can select no managed app, CLR app pool. Click on OK. So, so if I go to local host colon eight zero eight three, I say validate the connection. Now it says needs elevated permissions to run MSDE. That is, I must be running in administrator mode. Other option is I can deploy it on my local folder. So let me cancel it and run the open the Visual Studio as administrator. PH default
okay right click on the project and select publish is a create profile let's deploy Valid connection and it succeeds. We'll go to the settings, it is it's a release ASP.NET Core. So use this connection string and entity framework and select apply migrations or publish. Any of this probably is not required. So let me just Click on publish button and see what happens. Doing this, not including the build. This is running the command teach that compiler zip from the MS build and it takes us directly to 8083. And we can see this. And let me click on load and it works. Click on load in. Great. So it works. So, what are the steps we did? Should we do it again?